It's Kaylee and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's tutorial is a requested tutorial that I'm going to be doing with this palette right here. The BH Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I am so excited to finally get it and I've tried it out one time so I'm going to try it out again. And today we're going to be doing a sunset look but it's going to be a halo eye. I'm going to be using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot that I, <laughs> MAC Painterly Paint Pot that I just got. And my foundation, this is a brand new foundation from Fenty Beauty that I just got. So let's get on with this tutorial. I like priming my eyes with like blending brushes. So I'm taking this um, Y15 blending brush from Morphe and I'm just packing on the paint away paint pot on there. Because I, I used to like the crisp line underneath the eyebrows, but sometimes I don't like it personally. Sometimes I do, it depends. I just tried this look and I did not like the first way I did it. So, you know, there's always, you can always do it again. So, if you don't like the first way, you can always try second way. Just do it different. And then, honestly, I got this um, eyelash glue, it was from Kiss. Um, I've tried the black one and the black one was alright. Personally, it was not my favorite. I don't really care for it. The glue sticks on your eyelids forever. Like, it's hard to get off. That's why I have like a little bit of glue right here. Because I tried their white one because I wanted to see, hey, maybe I'm gonna try this one, maybe I'm gonna try that one. And I was just trying some eyelash glues. And honestly, I do not feel like them. I tried this Sonia Cashew one from Target. I do not like that one either. That one's it leaves your eyelashes really like icky, and I personally do not like it. Like, it leaves me clumpy. And I don't like putting eyelash glue on my eyelashes. It just gets on your lash line, and then you glue it, glue it too tight. Or glue it tight enough. Because I like gluing my on top of my lash line. So like, you cannot see the lash band at all. But I don't know. I'm honestly going to be taking a break from um, eyelashes, and I'm just going to be wearing mascara instead. Because I just got this new thing, and this is called the Makeup Eraser. Ow. And it honestly takes off all the makeup. I've been using it for two days now, and I actually really do like it. So I'm just blending it until it becomes tacky. And then I'm going to be taking this brush right here. I just used it, so it just is kind of colorful right now. So I just dust it off. And then go straight in with this orange one right here. And then I'm re-blending in circular and sweeping brush. This palette so far is just not as pigmented as I prefer, but a lot of times it's hard to find a palette that's like really pigmented in such bright colors. But so far, I'm liking the palette. I have a Cara palette, the it's a really nice dupe for the Morphe 35B. I'm gonna be posting a video like that pretty soon with that dupe. The next color I'm going to be using is this really pretty red color right here. No, oh my god. So I just dipped my finger in the white right here. Oh my god. Okay, but I'm going to be using that red color with the same brush because red and orange are very good to blend together. And then it just makes it a little bit darker. And then I'm 
is going to be taking this brush with yellow on it. I'm taking the neon yellow from the palette and I just blended it in from the top. To blend out the sides. And now I'm going to be cutting my crease half well, not halfway, it's um, a halo cut crease. I'm sorry, I'm like really forgetful today. So I'm gonna make sure it's more defined where the halo part's gonna be. So when I cut it, it's going to be very precise. So the next palette I'm going to be using is the 18 Colors palette. I get it from Angie's Makeup Store up in Victorville and also they have one in Hesperia and that's in California. I'll be taking this yellow and I'll be putting it on my halo part of my eye and the inner corner and then I'll be blending the sides out with orange and I'll come back when that is done. So yeah. I just want to like darken it up a little so I'm going to be taking the black in the palette, this shade right here, and I'm just going to be blending it on the outer corner and the inner corner. So for my brows, I'm using this e.l.f. pomade and this Morphe R44 brush, and I'll be back. Okay, so for our foundation, obviously we're going in with the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 240, and I just like pumped one pump on the back of my hand, and I just said, wait, there it goes. That was half a pump, that's one pump. Then make sure it's like very clean, you know, so make sure it's good. And then I'm just going to be dotting this on my face, and no, I am not using primer today. Because I don't know if I like my primer. Because sometimes my face be creasy, and sometimes it doesn't. My primer is like bipolar. And then we're going to blend this in fast because it dries pretty quick. I actually like it. This is the coverage that I normally like, which is medium to full coverage. I don't know. Sometimes, like, why I wear light coverage foundation? But I'm not wearing it. This one, my opinion. And then to bake, I'm going to be baking with the Cody Airsman powder. I'm going to be using this brush right here to bake. I use this one a lot for highlight too. And since the foundation is already matte, I'm just going to be lightly baking later than normal. Because we don't want to dry my skin out, so. It's already matte, so there's no reason to heavy bake. Okay, so then after that, I'm gonna be contouring and doing the rest of my makeup as I normally do it, and then I'm just gonna be smoking out my little lash line with that same orange, and that's basically gonna be it. And I'm just gonna put on lip gloss and mascara. So for my lip gloss, I'm using the NYX um, Butter Gloss in the shade Green. These NYX ones are my favorite ones, to be honest. And for my mascara, I am using the Benefit Water Lashes for my mascara, and then I will come back. And that is basically it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll put my Instagram down below, as well as my Twitter. And yeah, make sure to go follow those social medias. And just comment whatever you would like to see next. If you want to see my face routine, if you want to see my everyday school routine, which... I don't really have a specific one because I always do different colorful looks every day. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and bye!